Hey, Mr. Parker here to do a review for TLA. This one was sent to me by them. Uh, <coughs> it's also a Danger After Dark film. And uh, it is Pakistan's first splatter horror film, uh, Hell's Ground. I actually had seen this one when it came out, and uh, I thought it was pretty cool, so I uh, revisited when it was sent to me. And uh, I actually decided to watch it with a group of friends to get their reaction as well, because I think that helps as well. They all seem to enjoy it, and I enjoyed it more around this time. First off, we basically have a, uh, it's kind of strange because it's very stylized, and if you uh, look at movies that uh, come from a lot of other countries, other countries, other countries, sorry about that, uh, they tend to more, uh, if they're horror movies, tend to do the old school approach that old, good horror movies did here. Uh, this one has like some uh, definite homages to Dawn of the Dead and uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which are two great horror films that you never think you would see mixed. Anyways, we have a group of uh, teens, typically teens, yep, and they uh, decide to go to the concert uh, against their parents' wishes. They lie to them, and they end up going, and they get stranded on this so-called road to hell. Uh, they stop at this coffee shop, and uh, this actor, well, this, he's not an actor, but the guy, this old guy warns them they're on the road to hell. They don't listen to him. They think he's crazy. It's cool because that guy actually was in an old uh, old horror film that Mondo Macabro released, and Mondo Macabro actually helps with this release as well, which is really cool. And I think, uh, I want to say he was in a Pakistani horror film, of course, and they show clips from it. You know, it's kind of like homage to do, put, to put him in the movie, which is cool. <laughs> and uh you kind of wonder is this uh there's this like little plague going on uh in the water for the poor people and these people are all rich except one so it's kind of like type deal like that they're so far away from it they don't realize it and on the uh, way to hell basically i would say uh they encounter a whole bunch of zombies that are uh kind of merge Mal, uh, Falchi and Romero, and that's what you kind of get, and uh, they actually get attacked by them at one point, and someone gets bit, everyone knows the rules to that, but uh, particularly strange that a midget zombie gets in their van at one point, and I don't know why, but it's kind of uh, humorous in a kind of funny way, because they just throw them out, but uh, not even sure if it's supposed to be humorous, but I mean, come on. A lot better now that I got my dope back. Get out. 
uh, anyways, they're driving through, and uh, look, like I said, they see zombies, which is a really awesome scene. They have some gut munching. And then after that, they kind of the zombies kind of dwindle away as they get past a small village, and they end up getting into this really creepy place where you get your kind of your leather face type deal, which is cool because uh, he's wearing a burka, which is a female outfit there, and he has one eye showing. And uh, he has just his uh, creative weapon. Uh, he has a big, I guess it would be like a flail mace. It's a ball and a chain on a stick, but instead of just being a big steel ball that knocks you out, it's a, like a mace ball with spikes. And that uh, is actually a very cool weapon. Very scary. Uh, like I said, they're stuck in like this jungle too the whole time, and their car's stranded, and they start getting picked off and stuff like that, and uh, you start feeling bad for them, actually. They're, you know, they're just young kids trying to go to the concert. But uh, the gore is there. It's splattery for sure. And uh, the special effects are actually pretty good. Uh, it's not overly gross, but the gore is there, like I said. And it's splatter effects. And he shows people getting chopped up, people killed. Kill count's not super high. But uh, this is very, uh, very cool. It's short and sweet and uh, delivers all the goods. And it feels like a traditional old horror movie. But it's very stylized in the sense that it kind of Dawn of the Dead seemed like a comic book. They go as far to even turn some of the scenes into comic books like... Little did they know, which is actually pretty cool as well. So yeah, this is very stylized, uh, very much like an American horror movie, but very much not like an American horror movie, and that's good in both ways. Uh, this is uh, Pakistanian's first horror flick. I would uh, splatter flick, I guess you'd call it. I'm sure they had horror flicks, obviously, but splatter flick. And uh, I'd never actually seen one from their country before I seen this movie, and I would definitely recommend this one for sure. It also comes with commentary a documentary, and a premiere, all sorts of stuff. It's a good DVD release, looks great. It's also a very cool movie for horror fans. I'll show some of the clips. Also, it's kind of strange because it's in English and in another language, so sometimes I'll be speaking English and boom, it'll come out. Yeah, but anyways, I would recommend this one. It's definitely worth checking out, especially if you like foreign horror, and especially if you like, uh, you know, kind of old school American horror. Thank you. Have a good one. Bye.